Senate has passed the second reading of the Investments and Securities Bill 2024. Well, this bill aims to replace the outdated Investments and Securities Act 2007, promoting economic growth. This initiative was spearheaded by the Senate leader, Senator Kemi Bamidele and Senator Osita Zunato, who emphasized the vital role of the capital markets in driving economic growth. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I respectfully rise to lead the debate on the general principle of the Investment and Securities Bill 2024. The bill seeks to repeal the Investment and Security Act 2007 and enact the Investment and Security Act 2024 and to establish the Securities and Exchange Commission as the APES regulatory authority for Nigerian capital markets as well as regulation of the market to ensure capital formation and protection of investors, maintenance of fair, efficient and transparent market. Speaking in support of the bill, other senators believe it will protect investors by enforcing stricter regulations and enhancing market transparency. This uh, amendment is very important to ensure that the Securities and Exchange Commission does its job in line with the global best practice. The most, most cherished $1 trillion GDP that we are targeting, this is the engine room in achieving that objective. Uh, Securities and Exchange Commission all over the world are known as catalysts into building, in the initiating investments, building them, guiding them, and regulating. So this bill seeks to do that. The capital market, as presently constituted, need to be reorganized because of some fraudulent practices that are happening in the capital market. He has already mentioned insider abuse, which is uh, very prevalent. And this has caused the lack of confidence of investors into the capital market. With what is being proposed, it will certainly restore investor confidence. President of the Senate, Senator Gautil Akwabu, who committed the bill to the Committee on the Capital Market for further legislation function, emphasized that the legislation is crucial to strengthening Nigeria's economy. Um, one of the things that interests me is what you pointed out here, reduction of systemic risk. Reduction of systemic risk. I think a lot of uh, people will be happy to infuse funds into the capital market when they know that a lot of uh, uh, the risk has been minimized or reduced to the barest uh, minimum. So this is uh, very good. So I thank everybody because there's really nobody that says that a bill should not proceed. Uh, to, to, uh, to the second level. So uh, let me put the question. Those in favor that this bill be now read a second time, say aye. Those again, say nay. The ayes have it. 